Jennifer. I'm a chemistry BA senior here at Northern Kentucky University and today I'm going to do a little bit of a demo as to explain as to why milk curdles. Now milk is made up of several compounds, fats, proteins, and sugars. The protein is normally suspended or floating in the solution. When the pH changes, the milk then becomes more acidic and the protein molecules attract to one another causing the protein to lump or to curdle. Now, a lot of recipes call for adding lemon juice or vinegar to milk in order to make homemade buttermilk. But why doesn't it curdle when this is happening, when it's making buttermilk? Well, the reason of this is the temperature of the solution. Yes, the cold milk will curdle, but not as a fast of a rate as if the milk is heated. So right here I have our heated milk and here I have our cold milk. So I'm gonna add our cold milk to our empty beaker. And here I have our lemon juice. So I'm going to take the lemon juice and I'm gonna add it to the cold milk. Now you can see a little bit of separation in that in there, but as we will see in a few seconds, it is nothing compared to how it's going to be in the lemon, in the hot. So when I add this to the hot, you can almost definitely see immediately how it's lumping and curdling and changing colors. You can see the separation of the yellow liquid and see the protein lumps that are lumping together. And so the cold milk will eventually lump like this. However, it'll take a lot more time for this to happen. And the reason that this happens is the reaction that takes place between the acid of the lemon juice and the base of the milk. Now, this type of reaction, especially the hot milk one, is used in a lot of recipes that make our fresh cheeses. And how they do this is they'll take the hot milk that's been curdled, and you can see the curdling right here. They take it and they drain the liquid part of the milk off of it, leaving just those protein lumps and then they'll mold it and solidify it and that's how we get our cheese. Thank you.